Technical interviews are amongst the hardest thing you'll ever do. But why are they really so hard? It's really three things that matter. And if you want to understand what those three things are, stick around for the rest of this video. Folks, my name is Ryan. I am one of the two co-founders at Interview Kickstart. We've trained over 20,000 working professionals, several thousands of whom are working in the tech orgs at the world's best companies. Think Google, Meta, Amazon, OpenAI, Anthropic, Netflix, and the like. There are many reasons that interviews are incredibly difficult, but here are the top three. The first is that interviews are about solving questions and problems that you don't come across in your day job. The kind of things that matter at interviews are algorithms, data structures, large-scale system design, soft skills, domain depth, AI skills, and leadership skills. Leadership skills only if you are on the management track. But let's look at some of these questions and see why they are complicated. Let's take algorithms, things like sorting, recursion, dynamic programming. They're not the things that you are working on in your day job. If you look at system design, large-scale system design, how would you design a YouTube to scale how would you design Twitter? How would you design Shopify, right? These are not the things that you are sitting around thinking in your day job. And so the questions that you need to prepare for are so far removed from what you do in your day job that they are a separate skill that needs to be built. The second reason that interviews are incredibly difficult is not only are they about these obscure questions, they're about speed. A typical interview lasts for about an hour, 10 to 15 minutes of pleasantries, followed by two incredibly hard questions. Now for the uninitiated, a typical interview question when you start working on interview prep will take you about three hours. And you need to be able to crunch this down and solve an unseen question in 20 minutes. And you need to solve two of them. The third reason why interviews are so hard is because the environment is completely unnatural and therefore it's something you have to master. Let's look at what happens in your day job and what happens in an interview. In your day job, when you are solving a problem, you're working with colleagues, people you know in a very comfortable environment, you can take breaks, you can hit the whiteboard, you can grab a cup of coffee, you can solve the question over multiple hours and there is really no gun to your head. Think of the exact opposite as happening in an interview. In an interview, you're in a pressure cooker environment. It's a one hour. You have to solve two questions. You have to solve this in an environment where you don't know the person on the other side of the table or very often the other side of the Zoom link. And there is a check of 200, 300, 400, 500,000, could even be a million dollars waiting for you on the other side. When you keep these three things in mind, that interviews are so far removed from your day job, they're in a pressure cooker environment and they require speed, you realize that interviewing is a skill that you need to build. Honestly, it is the most valuable skill that you can build because it safeguards your career, gives you optionality and puts you in a position where you can tremendously increase your compensation. We have seen people who have failed interviews consistently, who've gone through our programs, who come out on the other side and often doubled their compensation. If interviews are daunting, if you feel interview anxiety, if you feel that this is something that you really need help to get over, sign up for one of our masterclasses or our webinars. We would love to help you. Links in the comment section.